The University of Connecticut is an intellectual crossroads for historical study, exploring and connecting peoples and places across the globe. Its world-class history department is built around the principle that history should be integral to the public disclosure of our times. One of the things you find in this department is five different historians whose expertise is focused on the colonial and early American historical periods. That's very rare in universities, and these are some of, I think, the best professors in their specific areas. The university's core American history program is complemented by a substantial and increasing number of young faculty working on global and human rights issues. Half of my teaching is devoted to courses around the Human Rights Institute, and then half of my courses are devoted to Russian history. So, therefore, uh, anything that I teach from the Human Rights Institute about genocide, about international law, about human rights, uh, informs uh, that entire program. And that program now is, you know, in is significant. We've got many, many, um, well, I think we've got five or six joint appointments, for example, and we're building a major. And uh, we're contributing, interestingly, to a, a new historiography. The University of Connecticut has a world-class human rights program. The human rights program demands a, an awareness not just of those in need around the world, but how to analyze um, different approaches towards both contemporary injustices and historical injustices. And that's one of the, the really good parts for being a student here is that you get to engage in a wide variety of faculty that work in the field with some of these programs. And it allows sort of contemporary research that has historical grounding. It is, as my colleagues have said, the department that's, that's broad in what you can study deep in particular areas, Latin American history, early American history, um, human rights, but it's also intimate. So you get a big public research university with the ambitions attached to that, and on the graduate level, what can be a small liberal arts college, but now at a far more advanced level of training than you would have gotten as an undergrad. Well, I think for me, as a historian, a fundamental belief that I have is that um, really national boundaries, though critical and important, don't quite explicate historical processes. So what I try to do in my courses is explore that with students. You know, how can we think about national events in a transnational context? We often talk about transnationalism, for example, in theory and in practice. Well, I, what, one of the themes is the continuity in U.S. foreign relations. Uh, I, I, uh, I try to stress that, that going back the last hundred years, and certainly even, and even going back the last 150 years, you see the same ideas, the same themes, the same kinds of uh, uh, policy uh, assumptions, and often sometimes the same errors, the same mistakes. You want to choose the place that you think you want to be to create the self that you aspire to be a true